Welcome to the National Emergency Number Association video on the Emergency Number Professional Certification Program. This video will provide an overview of the program, an insight into the testing process, and even a review of the number and types of questions that will be asked. I'm Mark Fletcher, ENP, your Northeast representative on the NENA Institute Board. What is important about earning your ENP certification? The NENA ENP certification is a professional benchmark for everyone involved in emergency number program management. The ENP certification shows to others in your industry that you've demonstrated a mastery of the comprehensive knowledge base that deals with emergency services. The certification helps raise industry standards and goes a long way to increase the respect and prestige of those involved in 911. On a personal level, it confirms your commitment to the 911 profession by showing yourself to be a leader in public safety, as well as staying aware of current issues and developments in the field. The goals of the certification are straightforward. Establish a comprehensive body of knowledge. Promote a recognized competency standard. Ensure awareness of current issues and technical developments. Provide formal recognition of individuals for professional achievement. And encouraging professional growth while enhancing individual self-esteem. Four times each year, two-week testing periods are scheduled in the spring, summer, fall, and winter months. Application deadlines typically occur approximately one month in advance of the testing window. While the 2014-2015 schedule is shown here, the current schedule is always available on the NENA ENP website. The content of the exam consists of two primary components, E911 Operations and E911 Management. Under the operations component, the three categories and their level of contribution to the exam are as follows. Telecommunications operations, 35%. Information systems, 10%. Legislation, 5%. Under the E911 management component, the subcategories include management of organization, 20%. Management of employees, 25%. Legislation, 5%. The most common question about the exam is how difficult are the questions and are the questions trick questions? The answer to both of those is unequivocally no. Each question is a very specific and precisely worded query. You are presented with four multiple choice answers where one is clearly the correct choice and the other three are distractors. This is purposely designed so that you carefully read the question. Here you'll see a sample question from the exam. A Consolidated Public Safety Answer Point, or PSAP, provides communication services for A. More than one area code B. A local government entity C. More than one agency or department D. One emergency service EMS provider While each individual answer appears to be correct, the correct answer is C. More than one agency or department why is this answer more correct than the other answers? Looking at the question carefully, it references a consolidated PSAP. This single word eliminates answer B and answer D as they refer to PSAPs that are single entities. Looking at the remaining two answers, choice A can be ruled out as a consolidated center may have multiple area codes or may have a single one. That leaves answer C as the final remaining and only choice. Some basic study tips that will allow you to maximize your chances of doing well on the exam are to use the sample tests to review your areas of expertise and weaknesses. The ENP Certification Examination Reference Manual is your best choice for a study guide, as it is representative of the body of knowledge from which the exam questions are drawn from. Be sure to take advantage of other NENA resource guides and educational courses, and prior to your examination window, be sure to attend study groups that are offered and make sure you set aside dedicated study time. For the exam itself, there are 150 multiple choice questions, and the exam is given in a commercial proctored exam environment to ensure fairness in testing. As mentioned earlier, the exam questions consist of proportional operations and management topics, and the questions are not designed to stump you. There is clearly one best answer and three distractors. 
the minimum passing score is 105 or better, and you will be advised of a preliminary pass or fail grade once you complete the test. Remember, this notice is preliminary and official test notification is made via the U.S. mail after the two-week testing session has been completed and all applicants have been processed and verified. The ENP exam does require an examination fee. The cost for a NENA member is $420, however the test is also available to non-members for $500. Both of these exam fees include a non-refundable $40 processing fee. Study guides are available for $50 as well as practice exams for $75. If you're interested in both, Nina does offer a combination of the study guide and practice test for $100. These are all available on the Nina website. More and more employers are looking for ENPs to fill their open positions. While in some cases the certification is listed as desirable, in other cases the certification is mandatory, either prior to applying for the job or as a contingency of continued employment. Establishing and maintaining your ENP certification can certainly help improve the salary range as in most cases this is commensurate with qualifications and experience. Why should you be an ENP? In some cases it's required in order to hold a state chapter office and at a national level, it is required to hold a NENA office. In addition to the personal and professional growth, there is great recognition within the industry and your peers. Many NENA programs offer discounts that can range up to several hundreds of dollars, as well as special programs specifically for ENPs. You will always remember the day you first see your name listed with the letters ENP behind it, as it shows your ongoing dedication and commitment to public safety and the entire 911 industry. For more information on how to become an ENP, as well as the current testing examination schedule, go to nina.org forward slash ENP.